Alright, let's continue with painting the trails on the terrain. This will help guide the players through the environment and will make it easier for me to populate it by having some constraints. I'm not really worried about how realistic their placement is, but I do try to make them look natural as if hikers explored this space before and they left behind the trails. In some areas I try to imagine the assets I'm going to use and how I will arrange them. I roughly place some of the assets on the ground just to see how it feels. For the placement of the prefabs, I am using a tool called Prefab Painter, available on the Asset Store. It is intuitive and quite simple to learn. It's especially useful if you want to populate a small scene, or smaller parts of bigger scenes, with a great attention to detail. After making some small changes, I move forward to painting in the grass. My prefabs are already set up, so it's a matter of selecting them and starting to place them by painting on the surface of the terrain. At the moment, all I want is to cover the terrain evenly. I will later introduce more variation with different types of grasses. I test the painted section as I go along and make sure I still like the progress. Where there are visible holes in the grass, I go back and fill them in. This is starting to feel quite nice, like a meadow. I am pleased by how the grass flows and the simple shapes of the terrain. Ok, so what happened here is I merged together two of the islands. The terrain had too many pieces and I felt like it's not suited for the type of demo scene I wanted. So I go back in Photoshop and try to fix it. That of course requires me to update the trails and make them fit the terrain features better. Sometimes it can be discouraging to redo the work, but it's always worth it if it's an improvement. I have to redo all the paths and the grass placement, but at least now I do it with the confidence that the result will be better. It's also always faster the second time. I'm patiently covering all the green areas with grass again and really looking forward to placing other assets as well. See you in the next video where I will be populating the environment with vegetation.